Hello guys, welcome to the next video on MongoDB database tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how and why we use indexing in MongoDB. So first of all, what are indexes? Indexes are the special data structure that stores a small portion of data set in the easy to pass way. Now, why we use indexes? Now, indexes supports the efficient resolution of queries. Without indexes, if you are uh, MongoDB database is really large, for example, it has 10 million documents and you need to find one of the documents, it's really inefficient to find one document out of 10 million or, uh, you know, millions and millions of data. Now, indexes make it easy to, uh, you know, parse this data if you want to use, uh, you know, large database. Now, how to uh, use indexes? Let's see. So, first of all, what I have done is, if you can see here, I have created a temporary uh, database called temp and using this for loop, I have inserted 10 million document in this database. Now, to uh, make this database, it will uh, take some time to insert these 10 million, uh, you know, documents. That's why I have already, uh, you know, issued this command, which uh, already created 10 million data for us. Now, for this video, I'm going to use uh, the normal Windows command prompt to see our result better. So, I have opened the empty command prompt and I'm going to just give uh, Mongo here and we are switched to uh, this mongo shell and then we will switch to our temp database so just write use temp and then press enter switch to temp and then uh, let's uh, print out the documents first how uh, these document looks so just give db dot posts posts is the collection name in my case you can see here right so this is the post collection dot find and then these round brackets and press enter and what it does is it's going to print a uh, top uh, result for example tw top 20 results and it will uh, tell you to uh, type it for uh, printing more so it's not going to print all the 10 million result using this command line that's why i'm using this otherwise if i give this command here it will be really slow and uh, this Mongo chef will try to uh, fetch all the 10 million documents which we don't want right now, right? So uh, now we have 10 million documents. So let's try to find uh, something and uh, let's see how much time it takes. So I'm going to give the same command and uh, this time I'm going to give some criteria here. So for example, student id we want to search for for example student id thousand okay and let's see how much time it takes uh, so i'm going to press enter and you see it takes time time and still searching and it has searched with this result which is thousand but it takes some time about two seconds or a few seconds right that's why we need indexing so whenever we uh, you know create indexing for uh, some elements of a document, then it's going to uh, search for this document faster. One way of searching is, is you can see if you give uh, find one command here, so instead of find, you just give find one, not this, but like this, find one and press enter, it finds it immediately. Because what happens in find one case is, it's going to search for uh, the student whose ID is 1000 and uh, at the time it search or it finds this ID, it immediately exits. But in the case of find, it's going to find all the document in all the document which is matching student ID, uh, you know, 10,000. So it's going to uh, see in all the 10 million result uh, for this student ID 1000. So let's uh, create an indexing and let's see how fast this result becomes. So to create an index for uh, a document, what you can do is you can just give the command db and then the 
collection name which is force and then you give ensure index command so just write dot e n s u r e ensure index okay and then in round brackets you just give the key value pair so just give these curly brackets and in the double quotes for example you give a student id as your uh, key so just give student id here and then just give colon one okay so it's going to uh, do the indexing for this element in all the documents and now we are going to execute it so press enter and you see it takes some time to create the indexing of this and after this indexing is created it will become really fast when you want to search for the same data again okay so if you do this kind of indexing it will be really fast and efficient to find your data that's why we use indexing so now indexing of uh, our documents are done and let's find this uh, student id once again so I'm going to give this command db post dot find for the student ID thousand. Let's give uh, this time uh, ten thousand or hundred thousand for example, and let's search for it. So I'm going to press enter, and it immediately finds this document. So in case of uh, this, after creating the indexing, it becomes really fast to search your document based upon the index you have defined. But be careful while you're defining the index. You don't want to create the index for every field. You may want to create the index where your uh, IDs are unique, for example. For example, in my case, the student ID is unique in this case, so I have provided this uh, index. So you may want to you know, restrict yourself while creating the indexes. So in this way, you can uh, create the index now in order to remove our index how you can remove our index so in order to remove our index what you can do is you can uh, give the same command and instead of ensure index you can just say drop index so just write drop index okay and it's going to drop your index so i'm going to press enter and uh, it says okay and once again i'm going to find this uh, student and press enter now you see it takes time few seconds and after searching for few seconds it will give the result so in this way you can use indexes in mongodb i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and